Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna. I am a portrait photographer in the Denver area, and today we are discovering new areas to take some photos in, so I went ahead and took KJ and took her to the Rhino District. Since I'm still fairly new to the area, I need to do a lot of exploring. I stumbled on this location while I was going to an event, and KJ is pretty familiar with this area, so I went ahead and brought her because I thought her outfit would match perfectly to this location. The equipment that I'm using today is the Godox 8200, and that is on a heavy duty light stand just because I was worried about wind and it getting knocked over. That also has a soft box on top of it, and that is triggering to my transmitter that is sitting right on top of my Sony a7 III. I am using the 85 millimeter lens to photograph, and once we go ahead and get a couple of great shots, it's time to open up Lightroom and begin editing. We're going to be doing some minimal edits here just because I really like the way that it came straight out of camera, but when it comes to the global edits, I would bring up the exposure just because it came out slightly too dark. And I also wanted to bring the temperature to a bluer tone just because I feel like it matches more with a cityscape vibe. Now you do want to make sure that you are not washing out your model and KJ has more of a warmer tone so what you can do is go into the selective edits and make sure that she matches more of a yellowish than a bluish just to make sure that she does not look sickly or washed out. And I also really liked the way that the jumpsuit came out. It has this very pink purplish shade to it. So you're going to see that I'm going to go actually back to color selection and find or locate the pinks and the reds and make sure that I boost up the hue as well as the saturation just to really enhance the color that is coming from the camera. And you're gonna go ahead and see that that makes a huge difference. So this is the before and this is the after. You're gonna notice that I didn't use the flash at its full power and that was simply because we were in the shade the entire time. If I had KJ stand in front of the sun, I probably would have to use the flash at its full power, but because I only needed a little bit of fill, I used one eighth of the flash's power. And the one thing that I've noticed about Godox's, especially the AD200, is that it's not going to flash every single time if you take a lot of consecutive shots in between each other. So what I would usually do, especially if the flash got too hot, was try to give a lot of constructive criticism in the posing. So that way we have a lot of time for the battery to get gain its power again and trigger once I hit the flash again. But that is the end of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. I do want to give a big shout out to KJ. She is a amazing model in the Denver area. So if you guys are looking for a model to work with, I highly suggest working with her. If you're interested in other behind the scenes and Lightroom edits, I have a playlist created that will be listed up here as well as in the description box below. But that is all that I have for you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys in the next video.